This is DJ Wolf Live. All right, all right, all right. It's Friday night, yo. And uh, this is DJ Wolf Live 2020. I am DJ Wolf. Now, straight out of the cycle of BS. At least, at least this is my take on it. Recently, out here in the DMV in Maryland, uh, there is uh, something that got voted in where they're going to raise the minimum wage up to about $15 an hour. I meant to report this last week. I just heard about it over uh, news out here. And you know, across the country, uh, even New York, they have actually uh, either worked on or passed through legislation to raise the minimum wage. Um, I forgot how much it is in New York, but I know out in Maryland, they're, they, they are uh, about to uh, take an effect in a couple of years. A $15 an hour uh, minimum wage that will take an effect, I, I think, 2002 or 2003, something. I mean, 2023. Here's the thing, because I had an argument with my wife about this morning. I really don't agree with that. And I talked about what people work as well. For what certain people do, it actually cheapens their positions and their jobs. If you're going to raise the minimum wage for somebody to flip burgers and fried chicken, because I used to fry chicken, and I know for a fact, the minimum wage when I worked in 1985 was three thirty-five an hour. I think my old lady said it was like a dollar something. I think it was a little bit more than that. But she claimed it was a dollar something when she started working. I think it was a little bit more than that. But I know when I was working 85, my first real uh, job, frying chickens for six months, three thirty-five an hour. That was no money at all. And uh, I uh, had to work. I worked my ass off. And when I got tired of, uh, uh, well, it was an incident that happened where a couple of guys got what wasn't satisfied with the food or the service. I wasn't, nah, I mind you, I wasn't on shift, so I didn't cook the bad chicken that they had or whatever they had that was bad during that shift. But they came up there, and I heard uh, a girl told me, uh, a female, what? Damn, girl told me, she said, uh, a guy threatened to come up there and shoot the store. He shot, he, he actually put a, a two bullet holes in the store at the time. And uh I had just parked I had just pulled up and uh the girl told me that we hid in the bathrooms. Um, I, I I was going hide in the freezer, I heard somebody, one of our uh one of the other employees did hide in the freezer. I didn't. I had in the bathroom. Matter of fact it was the first door on the right when you walk in the churches. And here's the bad part. You couldn't lock the door to go to the bathrooms from the inside. The main bathroom doors you could lock. Here's the crazy part. I remember at one point uh, we had the doors locked and the guy tried to open the door. Thank God he didn't open the door, man, because that would have been my ass. My female co-worker hid in the girls' uh, bathroom, and I hid in the, in, in, I mean, in the girls' bathroom. She hid in the women's bathroom, I hid in the men's bathroom. And thank God, dumb fools didn't get to either one. But I think they were trying to do do, do some mess to us. Real talk. I, I'm glad that I didn't open the door, because if I if I had forgot to, un, uh, to, to lock the door, or if I had a uh, open just to peek to see if it was anybody out there, it would have been my ass. Here's the even crazier part. I was driving a Nova SS, uh, 75 Nova SS. I pulled up within minutes before she made that, before she, I mean, about, about a minute before she told me that those guys were coming back. And I came in there, also, if I came in there maybe about five minutes later, I probably would have got shot or got hit or something or robbed or jacked. 
you know, they ain't called carjacking jack at the time, but I'm just saying, I would have probably been caught, caught, caught up in a crossfire that I wouldn't have wanted to be in, you know, among other things. So I'm glad she did tell me. And I tell you, man, it wasn't, it's, it's, when, when, when those guys left, because I heard the pops, when those guys left, I was scared shitless. Yeah, I'm at the go a little street on this guys, because that's how bad it was. So they call a manager called the cops, right? Cops come up there about maybe about five six minutes later, of course, like they're always late. Do you know when the cops came in there? They didn't even try to investigate the bullet holes or anything. We know where it was. Some bitch, I'm like, hey, can I have a cup of soda? Like, I ain't worried about no goddamn soda, man. You ain't did nothing to try to troubleshoot the problem or find out with you, who these guys were. I didn't even see the guys' faces. You know, but the girl knew it was. You know? I said, this is crazy. What we doing here? This is crazy. I know what y'all doing. I'm going across here. I'm going to man. But, you know... I was just like, what the heck is going on here? And anyway, it was just a weird situation. It was just a weird situation at the time. You know? But I was glad that, you know, everything turned out okay. And after that, not long after that, I quit the job. It wasn't me. It wasn't not. It wasn't just about the money. It was the principle. There was no security there. You know, the cops didn't take anybody seriously when we when we made the report. Not much ever happened at that. And here's the even worst part about it. I was coming on night shift to close that night. I mean, this was like our shift. Was like our shift was like was it four to eight? It was it four to twelve? Something. It was some so crazy shift that I had. And I, think, and I know I worked at eight hours, so it was four. To, I think it was like four to midnight. Man, yeah, it was. It was four to midnight. I remember that. And so I worked eight hours. I worked the full shift. So I worked the night shift. You know, God forbid at the time that those guys were to come back. So you know, me being on shift. And the store had to be open because nothing happened to anybody. There was no major damage. There's two bullet holes on, on the top of the, uh, at the top of the, uh, you know, uh, the wall. You know, a little bit of a scare. They didn't even buy a close the store. You know, I thought that was kind of odd. You know, company didn't, you know, ensure that we was safe and didn't buy the closed store for the night. You know, the store didn't get, they didn't get robbed. See, the store got robbed. Might be a different story. You know, they didn't even care. Didn't even care. You know, I go show you how management did, did care very little about us. And I was scared shitless that night because I had to, like I said again, I had to work that shift. Because I had just came on shift just a couple minutes before that, all that mess went down. You know, hiding in the bathroom, not knowing what these guys look like. And for all I know, they could have been hiding, hiding out there before I came in. And because they could have found out what I was looking like. They probably knew who I, I looked like at the time. Because they might have been hiding, waiting on somebody to go in there for the ship. Who knows? But they, the weird part about it was even weirder at the time. They didn't bother my car. My car was unscathed the entire time. That was crazy in itself. But still, they knew somebody with the car had worked like that worked up there. Because it was matter of fact, there's another crazy crazy part about it was it was the middle of the afternoon and there were no customers. And this was on a Saturday. So that was even more scary. Because you know, Saturday night, people going by church, you know, going by chicken. Either you're a gold club or coming from a club. And drunk, in some cases. 
You know, so you don't know what, to, what you were expecting at the time. And I didn't know what to expect. I really did. So, but anyway, um, I later quit. I wrote, wrote my resume. I said, I'm, I'm in resume. My resignation got the hell up out of there. I said, I'm going to do something with my life. And I ended up joining the military uh, a couple months after that. I was already going to school at uh, Cuyahoga Community College in Cleveland. And uh, right around the same time. You know, I was trying to make something of my life. Now, fast forward here, and eventually I did. The 2020, and like I said, now Maryland, uh, state of Maryland is, uh, at least from, from what I heard, is, is going to do the same thing for the minimum wage. From uh, I forgot what it was before. It's going to be it's going up to fifteen dollars an hour in uh, a couple of years. Here's my thing. If you raise the minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour, and I told my wife, I said you're gonna be paying more for for the food. The I mean, like a, a regular meal, three piece meal, or which, which came with like, a, for example, a sandwich. Because I was just at a Arby's last week, and I had the fish sandwich. The fish sandwich was pretty good. It was fish sandwich, onion rings, and a regular drink. A medium drink, almost eight dollars. This was just last week. Harvest. Now I think McDonald's uh, 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 meals that went up like that too. Matter of fact, their meals did go. Cause I think last I was over there about six dollars. They used to be about four or five dollars. Matter of fact, I think they used to be a little. Well, yeah, right around that about four. It was about four or five dollars. I think they're like six or seven dollars now for the mill so they're going up and I think it, 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 and, and matter of fact McDonald's uh, the last few years when I was going to Virginia Beach for my vacation we would stop uh, uh, somewhere near Hampton at McDonald's uh, restaurant where they have the people cooking and they have uh, like two uh, registers open. Everything else is automated. Yeah. You go to a kiosk, you order what you want, and you, you know you just pay for it with ATM or whatever you use to make the payments on. You just pick what you want, you know, and, and you know wherever they got available. Well, usually they do, but that's what they do now. Uh, more and more of those restaurants now are using automated systems, which means, yeah, they could pay people fifteen dollars an hour, but guess what? You're not going to have that many employees working there because they won't have a need for having people to work the registers anymore. Just uh, whereas uh, where I worked at before, they had two or three registers open. They probably only need more, than, no more than probably about one or two at the most if they actually automate. Automate saves time and money. And you probably make more money on the automated side. You know, hire one person for drive through, hire one person to run the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, cash register. Everything else is automated in terms of uh, tellers. More and more places are going like that. Even the supermarkets are like that. A couple of supermarkets down here are already like the Giant and uh, Safeway. Matter of fact, with Giant and Safeway, uh, the Safeway one actually has a camera, so if Whoever is uh, making uh, payments with the cards or whatever, or taking money out while they're doing it, are on camera. So they're going very high tech now, you know. And it, it eliminates the need for uh, people behind the registers anymore, you know. So while people are talking about, oh, well, we want them, we want a raise, a raise, and all that. We want to raise, we want to raise, we want to raise. Um, guess what? Now you get to raise, but by the same token, by you getting the raise, guess what? Less people to work there. You cut your losses by putting an automated system there. And guess what? No need to have to hire more people to pay more money for. 
the art man system at some point will pay for itself. There it is. You're saving hundreds of thousands of dollars by not having to raise a minimum wage or if you raise a minimum wage, you won't have as many people working for you. That's what's going to happen. Bet that's what'll happen. And likely you won't be if you do get paid that minimum wage of fifteen dollars an hour. Guess what? They uh, in, in a lot of cases that they may not be full time anymore. They'll be part time, and you'll still lose out because what's going to happen if you you'll be making about the same amount amount of money you're working working if you're working uh, uh, and you'll be making the same amount of money. Fifteen dollars an hour part time as you would if you're working full time. In other words, if you work, uh, they, uh, if you work eight hour shift, working maybe about six or seven dollars an hour, right? And you work the full time. If you work part time, four hours is going to come up to the same thing. That's what's going to happen. A lot of people ain't going to be working. They're going to be getting them, them really good. Uh, uh, number of hours like they did before. They're going to cut back on hours. But you'll still get paid $15 an hour. See, people aren't thinking. The fast food companies, uh, they're going to circumvent that. They're going to get around that. You ain't going to be making, I mean, you, you'll you probably make that, but you won't be making that doing it full time. I can bet you anything you want. Unless you're a manager or something. Unless you're a, a, a higher up. That's not guaranteed for everybody to make that money. And if it is guaranteed, you won't be getting the full time. What are you people doing out here now? Just saying. Oh, God, I hate when they do this. I'm going to try to tear my stuff off of my app here. I'm not going to do it. You know, that's just the bottom line. Bottom line. You know, people got used to use common sense when they drive down here. Come here. I'm gonna come. I'm talking to you while I'm driving. People got got to use common sense when it comes to these jobs, man. Especially when it comes to something like this. You know, like I said before, you may not be as fortunate to do that. Keep it moving, buddy. But I can't stop. I can't stop. I'm not gonna stop. Too much traffic out here. <laughs> like these uh people thinking they're gonna you know make fifteen dollars an hour, but here's the thing. Uh, the quality may or may not be any better. And I doubt that. Okay, if I pay you $15 an hour to flip my burger, it better be the best damn burger I've ever tasted. You think they're going to change with the formulas? No. No. Mm -mm. Not everybody's going to benefit from that. And that's what I was trying to tell my wife. Not everybody's going to benefit from the $15 an hour. There's, there's nothing guaranteed about that at all. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Most people would not benefit from the fifteen dollars an hour. They just won't. You will not benefit from it. You will not benefit from the fifteen dollars an hour. I can promise you that. Come on, man! Damn, man! He act like they were going. Oh, these people can't drive. These people can't drive worth two cents. But yeah, you know, you may benefit in principle to, to get a chance to make $15 an hour, but you may not get it full time, like I'm saying before. There's no guarantee of that at all. No guarantee whatsoever. There is none. There is no guarantee at all. You know, when people, you know, think, oh, I need a livable wage. You're right. But who chose to work that type of job? You did. You know they're only going to pay you for so much. 
So, and, I, and that's what I try to explain to somebody. They're only going to pay you but so much. So, and I know somebody said, well, they can't find any work. But is it the problem of the employer if you can't find a better paying job? And you're looking for a specific job that you want to work in for the time being to tie you over. No. What I'm trying to say is these fast food joints, unless you're going to become a manager or a higher up in that in that organization, and you actually plan to work for them, literally by you know taking courses and all that, and uh, you know, and work your way into it, it's not designed for you. I'm being honest, you know. And I was trying to explain it to somebody like, well, you know, it's their responsibility to help out. No, it's not. It's only their responsibility to provide you employment. You know, do you honestly think, let's put it like this. I was making three thirty-five an hour at church chicken. And when those guys came in and shot the store, and could have taken my life, God, thank the Lord that they did. And, 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 do you think it would be worth me staying there to make three thirty-five just to wait to see if they're going to give me a pay raise and bump me up to fifteen dollars? No, it wasn't. Wouldn't be worth it because I know they weren't paying a livable wage. Why the hell would I want to try to struggle, to try to try to work there the, long enough to see if they're going to give me a livable wage? Now, not doing that. That's crazy. That's why you always try to elevate yourself. And I was trying to explain them, explain my old lady that. You have to elevate. That's what I did. I wasn't about to stay there for work there for three, four, five years. See, the problem with our culture, and, I, and I'm going to explain that further on, is that we get complacent when it comes to these menial jobs. We do. We get very complacent. Where you depend on it. Like, I got to be in this little job doing this. And, you know, I got my girl. You know, we gonna go. But you get to a point, you get too comfortable. And that's what I was trying to explain to my old lady. Now, one thing she was right about Somebody got to do it. I totally agree. You know? That's why you got a lot of young people who usually get hired to do those kind of positions. You know? For various reasons. You know? But it's not meant uh, for you to be able to stay there forever thinking you're going to make a career out of it. I know when I worked at Church's Chicken... Back in uh, summer, uh, spring of 1985, when I started over there with them, that it was not going to be a career. I didn't intend for it to be a career. I just wanted to, to tie me down for me to be able to save a little money, get me a little place, and go to school. So I can graduate and move on to a better job. You know? Or tie me over just long enough where I could save up, you know, oh, uh, and maintain a, a place and then give me a full time job eventually and then get out of here, which is why I ain't doing anything. But it's not a career path. That's why I'm a I'm 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 I'm, I'm like I don't agree with the fifteen dollar an hour uh, uh, price tag for fast food employees. Unless you're a manager, I don't agree with that at all. I'm sorry, I, I just I can't work with that. You know, I cannot roll with that. It would be ludicrous for me to do that. You know, and that's, you know, there's nothing wrong with working a hard, uh, uh, you know, uh, there's nothing wrong with a hard day's, uh, you know, let me rephrase that. It's nothing wrong with working an honest job. You know, nothing wrong with that, even if it don't pay a whole lot of money. You know? For our culture, you know, especially nowadays with, with, with the, you know, with the, the images that we put out there in these videos and all this other stuff, makes you think, yeah, you got to get it fast now in a hurry. It took me years. I'm going to tell y'all, for real, it took me years to get where I'm at today. It did. It took me a long time. Probably about a decade to almost a decade and a half. I ended up having to go back to school twice anyway. 
you know, when I got the military, guess what I did a few years, some years later? I went right back to school at 33. I don't reckon to make any of y'all youngest to wait to get 33 to do it. But, but I did go back to school. You know, I was telling my last one, I said, you know what? I went back to school and did my thing because I was tired of being broke. You know, even though I had went to the military and graduated from high school and all that stuff, it wasn't enough. It wasn't paying the bills. I had a job as a courier for several years. Wasn't paying the bills. I had to get into, into, into something different. You know, and I did. You know. But I had to make the sacrifice for a couple of years to be away from my son three days a week. And it seemed too late. He would try to stay up late for me to come home. I remember my bedtime story. It broke my heart. But I knew in the long, long run, doing what I had to do as a man, husband, as a father, to maintain my household, I had to, I had to make that ultimate sacrifice. And I was going back to school. There were days I had to catch the bus outside by myself. Out around District Heights, Capital Heights area, man. You know, a lot. You know, I get home at 11, 11, 30 sometime at night. And then turn around and go back to work the next morning. That sacrifice paid off. See, we we, we willing to make money, but we want to make money the fastest way possible. A lot of us don't realize that you have to to build on making money the right way, but if you really want to make money the right way, you need to, the way you need to do it, you need to, you know, get some formal training and education behind you. You can't rush it, man. You know, and we want the quickest way to do it. In some cases, the quickest, the fastest, and the most all at the same time. It ain't always in the cards all the time like that for everybody, you know. And then the other people have artillery, artillery, artillery motives for doing something about what they're doing. Out here. And that's real talk. Just stupid stuff, man. But what I'm saying is, I don't personally, fifty dollar an hour minimum wage. I can't ride with the narrative. I just cannot. Now, I'm not an owner of no fast food chain or anything like that. But if I was, I wouldn't be too happy about that. You know, I'd get an automation. Automation machines put in there. And it'll save me hundreds upon thousands of dollars from having to hire several people to work the register when I can get the machines to do that. If I have a malfunctional machine, I have these two people to work the cash register. And where I work all the other mess. You know. I don't have to worry about it at all. But it, 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 to me, it's just, I don't know, I just, just making it an easier way for people to be able to earn money with little or no skill. You know? And I'm talking about younger people. I said, nah. Mm-hmm. And to have family, and, and, and be trying to raise families, and then you'd be like, oh, that's not enough. After making 50, I was like, it's crazy. And that's just going to pull a lot more people out of work. As a result of that. That's the way I see it. Because once the automation takes place, there ain't going to be no need to be hiring these people at $50 an hour. There won't be no need for it. The automation at some point will pay for itself. Because you know people now, people nowadays, they like quick, fast Convenient things uh, like when I go to Giant or or, or uh, Safeway out here in the DMV, they have uh, automated machines now where you can you know scan your groceries and other uh, groceries that you have like fruits, vegetables, stuff like that. 
Weigh it in, do all that by yourself. You know, you just put your code in, put your phone number, do all that, scan it, you'll be out there for less than five minutes, depending on how many groceries you have by. You know, pay for it yourself, what they call self service. See, a lot of places are going that route. And McDonald's, I know, was the first one to do it. I don't know about Wendy's yet. I've been at Wendy's in decades. At least I haven't been at Pledges. I haven't been in, in a, on the inside of a Wendy's in a long time. So I don't really know about Wendy's or Burger King. Now, I'm sure they'll be, if they haven't already copied the, the thing that McDonald's is doing, they're sure to follow. And so are more, more other uh, restaurants of that ilk. Because I know they're going to support, they're going to fight that. The supermarkets are, 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 have already done that. And I noticed I was just in one uh, that they just did the day before. You don't see a lot, a lot of uh, tellers out there anymore. Not a whole lot. They don't use that many tellers anymore. Look at Walmart. Walmart got about eight or ten machines out there, self service. They got one person running all those self-service machines and checking them out and verifying that you're paying what you need to pay for and blah, blah, you know, and all that other stuff. That's it. So you can go ahead and have that $15 a wage hike if you want to. It's not guaranteed you're going to get a job doing it. Because automation coming through. They ain't going to have a need for you. See? As wages increases like that, these companies. Oh, you gonna stop or what? As wages increase, what is going on here with the traffic? As wages increase, there will no longer be much of a need for people to uh, be hired. for all of that extra money or extra uh, for an increase that people are asking about there will no longer be a need for it oh it's traffic man it's traffic it's atrocious alright guys I may do a part two right now I don't feel there's a real need to at this point because I if you have a comment about that or question of course you can feel free to reach me Right here on YouTube for all to hear TV. That's for all to hear TV. F O R A L L, the number two, H E A R. That's for all to hear TV on YouTube. Also, DJ Wolf on Twitter. Hashtag for all to hear. Also, that's right, right here on Spreaker. To listen to my on-demand episodes, go to Spreaker.com forward slash DJ Wolf Live. And if I, I'm on live uh, in the chat room, hit me up. Same thing with uh, YouTube with, with For All Tier TV. All right, guys. Oh, one other thing. Uh, if you want to debate me or have questions or comments uh, and you want to hit me directly via email, DJ Wolf Live at AOL.com. That's DJ Wolf Live at AOL.com. That's all I got, guys. Of course, like I said, hey, looking forward to hearing your comments and questions. DJ Wolf, I'm out.